classes. Here are our top tips for participating in the classroom, whether that's in person or online. In a class or meeting, remember to take notes, participate by asking and answering questions and put your phone on silent. Introduce yourself or say your name when speaking for the first time. Stay seated and present. Be professional, thoughtful, truthful and sincere. The goal is to learn and not to show off, have a laugh or disrupt other students. Don't be afraid to join in. Sitting back and reading without contributing is called lurking. At Birkbeck, you will be expected to use your voice and contribute to the discussions and debates. If you are a quiet one, get in touch with us about some helpful tips on how to be heard in the classroom. Number six, on the other hand, try not to dominate discussion. Give other students the opportunity to join in. Be self-aware or mindful of who speaks and how much and support others to join in. Active listening will help you take part and contribute in your learning group. It involves paying attention to the conversation, not interrupting and taking the time to understand what the speaker is discussing. Avoid interrupting other speakers and make sure only one person speaks at a time. Leave a reasonable pause for people to ask questions. And if you're online, wear classroom ready clothing. Mute your microphone whenever you are not speaking to avoid unwanted noise. Don't shout into your microphone, speak clearly in your normal voice. The web browser that works best with our technology at Birkbeck is Google Chrome, which may be downloaded for free onto a computer. Find a quiet space to participate in your online class. Turn your video on. Check your video is clear. Avoid sitting with your back to the window or you'll become a silhouette. Position your camera so that the top half of your body is visible. Be aware of what is behind you. Usually a simple neutral background is best. Make sure you have a reliable internet connection. While you are attending a live online session, it might be helpful to turn off any other devices in the household which use Wi-Fi and close any applications on your computer other than Google Chrome. Wi-Fi may not always work, so you need to have a backup plan. Have a smartphone beside you so you can still get online and follow the session if all else fails. Set up your device well before the class or meeting. Familiarise yourself with the platform and run an audio check. Where possible, use a headset to avoid background echo. Number seven, 